Okay, if I don't film this video now, I'm going to lose my mind. Right now, I'm literally squatting on my chair like L from Death Note because I don't know, I feel like I can't sit down right now. There's a whole lot of series on my channel that I start and I don't finish. One of those series was Quantity Over Quality. I literally just um, privated those a minute or two ago, so you guys probably, probably can't even see that anymore. But another one is I was doing this glow up thing i never finished that i filmed it i filmed the ending but i never uploaded it because no one watched the other two and then finally the last one is film things that have not even gotten up on the channel not even a little bit well maybe just a little bit like um i transferred schools and here's why or let me give you a life update or whatever right and no one saw it because no one's interested which is fine i just wanted to upload that so i can get the videos that are in my heart that are on my camera off of my camera roll and put it on here so i can finally delete them from my phone because that's what this topic of this video is it's about hoarding content hoarding hoarding i think that's correct hoarding 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 or hoarding hoarding I'm one of those in content. I have so much, so many photos and TikToks and videos of me just talking to myself, like I'm doing right now, on my phone. And it takes up so much space of, on my camera roll. Like even this video I'm filming right now, I have no idea how long I'll be able to keep it on. Or if, when it's gonna cut me off and say, oh, you ran out of space again. How many more times am I going to delete the Bible app and we do um we upload it and delete it again and we upload it be like oh not you deleting God's word <laughs> you know what I'm saying and just so I can film a five second clip it of you know a conversation I'm having with myself that I know I'm never gonna end up uploading create if I'm gonna film something it's going to have to go up that's like a new thing of me I'm really trying to stop that guys I guess what I'm trying to say is you know the memory of the videos okay okay Let's start from the beginning. I think I feel myself so much because I don't know. I, you know, yeah, I wanted to be a YouTuber or whatever, you know, whatever, right? I started filming myself, filming myself a whole lot more once school started in college because I had no effing friends. <laughs> like, let's just be real. I had no friends. And so I just talked to myself on the camera. And when you talk to yourself, like I'm doing right now, you'd see someone else moving there and you know it's you. You know it's your reflection. But sometimes it's nice or feeling like it's someone else or pretending like you're going to upload it and then one other person's going to see it and they'll be like, I feel you. I feel you, babes. And I guess that's one of the reasons why I filmed myself so much freshman year. And now I've grown an attachment to those videos <laughs> that I've never rewatched, that I've never even feigned to put onto my computer so I could edit it on Premiere Pro. I just tell myself like, oh yeah, this is gonna be for a vlog and oh, I'm gonna title it like that and this is how I'm gonna edit it. Yeah, 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 definitely gonna happen. Then why is there always months in between you and your videos? Like babes, it's not ever getting up there, is there? And I think another reason I film everything is because I'm afraid the memory will leave. I don't know. It's. I don't know, sometimes as I get older and I look back into memories of elementary school, I think, wow, I can't remember it as well as I used to. And it's so far away and what a simple time it was. And I feel like if I don't record every moment of my life now, well then I'm gonna forget all of it. It's, it's gonna be like it never happened or something. I don't know, I really don't know. It's some anxiety type of thing problem i'm sure so i'm filming this so i can finally give myself the excuse to delete those videos i mean it's hard to organize things on my phone i mean it takes up so much space it's really unneeded it's not even special moments you know there's some videos sure let's keep let's keep the moment you won an award or um the message you literally label do not delete so you can watch it in four years when you graduate or whatever, right? But like a clip of you saying, okay, so I just came from Chipotle and now I'm going to there. Like there's so many clips of me just walking around filming scenery, a way to prove that I was here. It must be the same problem Kevin Akron always had because he had this habit of filming his life all the time. He's like an OG vlogger, guys. And it was never, I mean, 
it wasn't used well until he was dead maybe he was trying to really prove to everyone like i keep saying like shoot me down maybe he was trying to prove to someone that he existed and he had a part on a, a movement a touch on the world i don't know and maybe that's my problem too i just am trying to prove to the aliens who find this phone billions of years in the future maybe not billions but in the future when i'm long dead and gone to say oh this is god called Sela, and she had an obsession with talking with herself interesting so real quick so i feel good about deleting the videos from college from freshman year at kansas city art institute i just want to say about that time it was fun and a lot of it wasn't there's probably so much content there of me crying i don't know if i'm gonna find it that specifically it's so much content it's so but I remember crying and laughing and being worried and like filming my friends and filming myself when I had no friends. And I remember thinking and just having the camera on as I just walked just to feel like I was walking with someone else. I don't know. I had never been so in touch with my feelings. Even now, I don't think I think about myself as much, you know. And back then, I really was trying to grab a hold of who I was like every effing college kid tries to do. Now I've told myself, well, babes, you're not gonna know who you are for a good while, so get over that. So now I'm like, okay, whatever. And you know what, Kansas City Art Institute helped me figure out a bit of who I am and why, and that's why I left, because I realized I'm not someone who can go to a school that focuses on visual arts so much, knowing full and well that I, ha I appreciate visual arts and I understand film is a larger aspect of visual art. And I understand I want to write for film, but let's focus a bit more on the writing. <laughs> and that's why I moved to Savannah, Georgia to go to SCAD, which I think has been a good thing. And though I miss plenty of my friends and from Kansas City, and I know I don't talk to them much, now we send memes to each other and that's it if we send memes to each other um but it was fun being friends while we were and i know this video is rambling but i'm trying to understand it myself as i'm saying it so there it's been good existing Ooh. whoa this sounds like it's by the time to a suicide note or something babes i'm looking at my hair a lot and it's really hot like it's like bangs hair but the memories would be up here and when they leave me because i'm old or i get all timers because my grandma had it i could get it who knows i that, that doesn't mean it didn't happen then the memories are gone or the memories may leave the me now i'm happy it happened the only other footage i think i'm not gonna delete is just me physically moving into this building i think i'm gonna parallel that with me moving out at some point when i eventually move out of this place whenever that is whether that's in a couple of months or in a couple of years we'll see let's just go with the flow right i'm gonna delete a lot of footage now well not now but once i am uploading this once this is uploaded and i've used some of the footage in here i'm gonna say goodbye to it including the tiktoks i don't know why i save tiktoks and i keep them um yeah whoo that felt kind of good that felt kind of good we feel better i feel better i don't i have to do this i i have to do the marie Curie, Corey, whatever not marie Corey. really babes radioactive um does it bring you happiness that one i have to do the whole spell and say <sighs> to the footage and pictures and tiktoks i'm about to delete from my camera roll i want to say thank you for being my life thank you for being someone to talk to and thank you for capturing the good the bad and the bland moments that i went through and it's been fun more videos to come probably hopefully maybe i'm gonna start having it here um i'm also you know thinking of rebranding myself or whatever i'm thinking like i go by sailor now sailor marie i still like lala i'm gonna go by both okay well either click another video or leave like you're just watching me ramble on at this point um love your big nose should i read you my intro too i don't know hmm